Okay, there is a greater than sign and there is a less than sign. What is this sign right here? It is a less than sign. I can tell, sir, that it is a less than sign because is 49 less than 51? Yeah. Yes, it is. It really is less than. And remember, my smaller number goes in the smaller point of my alligator, right? So it says 49 is less than 51. You are exactly right. So when I use my comparison symbol, my alligator has to eat which number? The greater number, the bigger number. Okay, so right now my alligator is facing this way. But if I had written it this way, my alligator faces this way now. He's eating 51 cookies instead of 49. Yes, ma'am. I'm glad you remember that. Okay, so today, well, the last two days, we've been using greater than and then less than, but today we're going to use both. Okay, so we're going to have to know which one is which. Okay, so remember, if we read it from left to right like we do a story, it should read correctly. Should this read 49 is greater than 51? Yes. No. No, that's not true. So, is this a greater than sign? No. No, it's a less than sign. Does everyone understand? Okay, good. Now, we're going to learn one other symbol today other than the less than and greater than sign. Okay? So I want you to get out your top here. And in this first box right here, I want you to write a quick draw of a number that is less than 36. And I want you to write the number right here. The number that you quick drew, I want you to write down there. We are going to use this paper to help remind us that this is called what? A greater and plus. No, it's not both. It's only one. Which one is it? Less than. It is the less than sign. Okay. So, if I were to write it out, and don't use my number. You guys have already all written your number, so all of you are right, I'm sure. So don't change it just because I wrote this. So if I were to write it out, I would write one is less than what? 36. Okay, so do you see how this symbol says less than? Okay, is that true? Is one less than 36? So do I have the right symbol? Yes, I do. Okay, now in the middle box, I want you to do a quick draw of a number that is equal to 36. We've talked about this before. If we have 18 students in the class, I want you to bring enough cookies for everyone in the class. So, how many cookies does that tell you to bring? 18, the same number. So, I want you to write, or could do a quick draw of something that is equal to 36. Then I want you to write your number that you quick draw.
who wants to share what they wrote? <laughs> Did everyone write 36 here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. You should have. That is the only number that you can write here. Okay. Everyone understands why? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do the last one. What is this sign saying right here? Greater than. So I want a number that is greater than 36. Please do a quick draw and write your number. Could I have written 37? Yeah, but what if my neighbor put 47? Are you wrong? Is your neighbor wrong? Why not? Why not? Is 37 higher than 36? Is 47 higher than 36? Yes. So, do we have different numbers? Yeah, but are either of us wrong? No. Okay, very good. So, should we look off of our neighbor to find our answers? No. No, because just because they have a number doesn't mean that I am wrong. So, you use your brain and what you think you need to figure out your answer. So do you see what we're doing today? Okay. We can tell that a number is greater than or less than by looking at the tens place first. Then if that is the same, then we can go to the ones place. So I want you to, um, we are going to put in our um, symbols in the middle, but actually I want you to put your paper in your, um, back in your folder for real quick. My symbols are less than greater than or equal to. Do you guys see my symbols? Okay. So, 21 is to 24. Where is my alligator going to go? What is my alligator going to eat? Which number? Which number is that? It is 24. So it is going to look like this. What is that symbol called? Less than. Because 21 is less than 24. Is that true? Is 21 really less than 24? Yes, that's true. Okay, very good. Let's go to the next one. 24 is to 24. Equals. Why is it equals? They are the same number. So if it's the same number, then you write equals. Okay. Let's do one last one. 30 is to 24. Yeah. Which one's the alligator going to eat? It's going to eat the 30. So what is that called? 
it is, but is it called less than, equal to, or greater than? It is greater than. 30 is greater than 24. Is that true? Yes. Okay, very good. You can get your colorful page off now again. There's three things you are going to do on each step. You are going to draw a picture right here. You are going to write one of these right here. And then you are going to write the words right here. See the words right here? Right here and right here. Should we spell them correctly? Yes, we should. They are up there, so we should spell them correctly. So, what does it want us to draw first? 28. 28. So please, quick draw 28. And make sure and keep it nice and organized. We're going to keep the 28 on this side. Then what are we going to draw? Um, uh, 35. 35. And I'm going to put the 35 over here so it's nice and organized and so I can compare the two numbers to see which one is bigger. Now which one is my alligator going to eat? Thirty-five. Very good. Who knows what this symbol is called? Is it called less than, equal to, or greater than? It's less than. Why? Because it's pointing to the last number. Okay, because it's the last number. 28 is less than 35. So what words am I going to write? Less, less, less than. than. Then I'm going to check it how mathematicians. Count them. Not count it. Should I read my sentence to make sure it's true? Yes. Okay, let's read it. 28 is less than 35. Is that true? Yes. Is 28 really less than 35? Yes. Okay, so my answer is correct.